What is up, everybody? I know it's been a while since I've made a video on the channel. It's been a really long time. It's been, I know, I, it's just been like school, work, school, work, school, work, and all those things all at the same time. There's been a lot of news this week around the one Jets drive uh, concerning the quarterback situation, concerning the season, and concerning this game against the Patriots. It's the same uh, every week, though, New York. So let's get right into it. The major storyline, Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be starting at quarterback for us against the New England Patriot team. And what can I say? You know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This season has had a full, uh, you know, stay in the seat roller coaster ride all the way through. So I'm not surprised for him to go ahead and start Fitzpatrick. They won the veteran leadership. They won the chemistry with the team. They won Brandon Marshall's boy. And they won a chance. They won a chance to win. I hate to say it, Jet fans. But Bryce Petty doesn't give us a chance to win the game. They want to go out no matter how bad the season has been. They want to go out with a bang. And what better way would it be to do would it be than to ruin the Patriots' chance at getting the number one seed and losing home field advantage in the playoffs and screwing up the Bills and Dolphins' wild card chances. That's what the Jets are on their mission, and that's what their mission is the rest of the way, the rest of the season, the last six games. Four of the last six are on the road. No, 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 God. Four of the last six are at home, and four of the last six are against divisional opponents also. Three of those four divisional games are all in MetLife Stadium. So the Jets understand what kind of situation they've got here. They only play uh, one more NFC team. They play five AFC, te five AFC teams down the stretch. Starting this Sunday at home against the Patriots, which was supposed to be an 8.30 game, was now changed to a 4.30 game. Uh, due to uh, the Broncos Chiefs being flexed in the prime time because it's a more entertaining game for the public. So let's get right into it. My take on the situation, I understand Fitzpatrick starting. Again, I understand it because I know that the Jets want to go out with a bang this year. And Ryan Fitzpatrick, whether any of us want to uh, admit it or not or like it or not, does give us the best chance to beat the Patriots. Bryce Petty, unproven starter guy that was either, you know, whether it was because of the play calling last week or, or last game uh, against the Rams or because of his inability to consistently uh, connect with these receivers deep. He was throwing a few passes off the mark. You know, whether it was those two, he didn't look great. He didn't throw five touchdowns. He throws four touchdowns, three touchdowns. They only got one and it wasn't even really his. It was the play caller's touchdown because it was a hook and lateral play. Creative play. Brilliant. I loved it. But... Bryce Petty, his average pass per play, or, or pass yards per play was four and a half yards. So, oh, so you know, it, it, the writing's there in the, in the text. Ryan Fitzpatrick's healthy this week, and they want to start him. He gives them their best chance to win, but they know he's going to put his body on the line, his career on the line. It's his last year. You know, what have we got to lose? The season's already a wash, Jet fans. We've got to do our best to make an impact, at least in the regard that we hurt our divisional teams uh, down the stretch and hurt their chances in the playoffs. So the Bills and the Dolls probably aren't going to make it, but us landing those blows to them late in the season could be huge. You know, especially since the Dolphins beat us the last game of my end. We're going to be playing really hard that game. Patriots, we always play them tough. I have confidence that we can beat them, but we probably won't. But we're going to we're going to be hitting hard. We're going to be playing hard. And Fitzpatrick's going to be putting everything on the line this Sunday. I know he will. Bryce Petty's not that type of risky player. He's talented. I want to see him play. But we will see him later on down the stretch this year. That's my take on this situation with Ryan Fitzpatrick. Let me know what you guys take it down in the comments below. I like the situation. I mean, I don't really like it, actually. But I understand it completely. They want their best chance to win, like I said. Uh, Bryce Petty. You know, he's going to get his chance down the stretch this season, I do believe. Just not this week, not the Patriots week. Uh, maybe against the 49ers or the Colts or something like that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this move. It's huge ground shaking. I'm sorry about the late video. It's really late, but like I said, I've been busy this week. And remember, guys, take care. Jet up, jet up, jet up. And remember, you heard it first from Harley.